First of all, I have here Clement Wong, who's Hi. Global Product Marketing uh, for Huawei. We have Florian Viola. Florian is uh, an optical designer uh, at Leica and actually led the project that developed the camera for the evening. And we have Benjamin Duek, uh, who's the group leader uh, for optical design uh, at Leica Camera. Um, and the sensor, you know, 12 mega, megapixel by MI sensor, it gives a lot of benefits later on, you talk, can talk about it. And then OIS is included as well. So it's not just for still image and low light, but also uh, uh, video. And focus, we have four in one. You, you should know that face detection, you know, a laser, uh, contrast, as well as that focus. So this, especially for the lens. And embed the ISP, this is great things. We embed this ISP into the current chipset. That make the processing even more faster in terms of image single processor. So when we, when we design cameras at Leica, we always look at the whole imaging system. We have the lens, we have a sensor, we have algorithms. Mm -hmm and then finally the image is stored somewhere and when we start uh, with the development or we, we have the first parts already together then we start and, and we obviously we measure things like dynamic range we me measure and check the white balancing the signal to noise and the color and you get numbers for all of these values and the thing about the Leica look is you can't put it into those numbers. So we start and we have some, some tuning according to some numbers where we tune all the imaging parameters. But then we start taking pictures and from our huge experience from the last hundred years in photography, um, we have developed a certain, let's say, a taste for pictures. So our, one of the aims is to have a very natural look. When it comes to smartphones, we won't have, uh, we don't want to have uh, oversaturation of colors. Uh, a third thing, it could be over sharpening. These are all the things we we try and we actually avoid in, uh, in the smartphones. And these are only some parts of the the Leica look. Essentially, you can not uh, ask me for an equation or for like <coughs> ten numbers so that the the Leica look is nailed down uh, quantitatively. It's something working with the image and then improving the imaging, the parameters that we have to set in the camera to get the final image quality. This is done by, uh, is already done with P9, that we fuse the two images. We have on the one side, as you said, the color information from the color sensor, but we have the luminosity values from the black and white sensor. And these com uh, information are combined. Mm -hmm. So we use the high frequency information from the black and white sensor, put it together with color uh, information, and then we can have a, a 20 megapixel a color image. We do even more. And uh, to explain this, we use an, uh, a technique which is called super resolution, where we even increase these 20 megapixels on the black and white sensor. Uh, to a higher amount, but this is just taken internally in, in the phone uh, by taking several uh, several pictures and, and, and do a kind of sub-pixel interpolation. And with these techniques, we can uh, we can do the zoom. This is used for for our highlights. If, if you talk maybe mathematically, it's a parameter space which is I don't know a thousand dimensional or so. So you you have little things to control and to tune and everything influences everything else. So there's a, a team at Leica which is 100% uh, working together with the team at Huawei mm -hmm. and we meet in China, we meet in Wetzlar, we, it's going back and forth. But the lenses then are Huawei and they're so-called approved by Leica or they are Leica lenses? So we don't manufacture lenses at this scale in Wetzlar. They're not manufactured, but they're, they're designed. We have, we have a co-engineering partnership. Mm -hmm. So your design, your production? <laughs> no. No, no, we <laughs> co-engineering. <laughs> co 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 I mean, we work closely together on all these aspects. Yeah. But because the beauty, the beauty in this cooperation. We have different core expertise. And when we work closely mm -hmm. together, <coughs> then we complement each other. So the the value basically in the engineering and the solutions we find. We, we uh, 
due to the different expertise, uh, we find more solutions probably. Like a camera, maybe, maybe not people know about Leica, but now they know that. Or diverse as well. Right? Maybe people know about Huawei, you know, why not Huawei? There's a great ca camera on Leica. You know, a Leica always a great phone from Huawei. So it is, I cannot measure, but I was mutually benefit for sure. Yeah. To, to, let me just add one additional element. Um, so a really important part of the brand strategy at, at Huawei is this idea of co-creation and partnership with experts in other fields and bringing that expertise into the smartphone form factor. And, and obviously brand strength is one of the things that comes with expertise. So uh, Leica, mm -hmm. the, you know, the, the, the creator of the compact camera, have one of the strongest brands yeah. in the world in the camera that space. That is our strategy of openness. So it's logically to, to use two cameras. Um, this is the one reason, um, which is old, so always uh, combined with, with, uh, with the light color. The second reason is that you gather more light. You get uh, a better low light performance, and as I said, with, with the aspect of the black and white sensor, which the higher resolution, you can get a higher resolution in RGB. And the fourth um, aspect is that you can have real a black and white photography. And this is where we get a lot of feedback from our customers, which really likes this feature to take a really black and white images in this high resolution, in this, in this great contrast tones. And so um, for, for us, it's currently very important to use this, this camera. Benjamin, could you just double the light? You can do your calculation. It's then the square root of two. So you divide 2.2 by the square root of two and then you end up having the light which we capture here with two 2.2 lenses is equivalent to the light you would capture with a 1.6 aperture.